From the most controversial collab to $100,000 skin and the story behind it, these are 15 skins banned in video games. What seemed like a fan favorite skin was added in Warzone's latest update and say hello to Loyal Samoyed. As you can expect, it was highly anticipated until it became one of the most problematic skins overnight. An artist named Salen came forward on Twitter exposing Activision for completely stealing their character design from over two years ago. And when you compare the two, the evidence is pretty clear. This is no coincidence, they are identical. Now, a lot of skins in video games like Warzone are actually designed by third-party studios or art teams, so we're guessing a contractor went and stole a concept they found online. And if you thought stolen concepts were bad, this skin was banned in the middle of a live tournament. EVO is extremely popular in 2016, it was broadcast to millions of people on ESPN. But during the Street Fighter Grand Finals, a player chose to play as Mika. And while that wasn't an issue, her costume choice definitely was, because the default outfit looks like this, and ESPN decided it was a little too revealing. Trying to avoid a fine by the FCC, they banned the skin from the tournament, which led to a super awkward situation. And did you know that one of CSGO's most famous weapon skins was involved in an art theft scandal? If you've ever played the game, you'll probably be familiar with the M4A4 HAL and its ridiculous price. But why exactly is it so expensive? When it first appeared in crates, the HAL skin was already pretty popular and became a fan favorite design. It was used by tons of pros in tournaments and became pretty adored by the community until one day it all went wrong. Valve received a DMCA asking to take down the Howl skin, and for good reason. An artist claimed that the entire design was a stolen artwork of theirs. It turns out that two Steam users took the OG design, added it to the M4A4, and sold it on the marketplace pretending it was theirs. Of course, Valve had to do something, so they permanently banned the two users and went even further. To prevent anything like this happening again, the CSGO workshop policy was changed to prevent plagiarism. So as for the M4 Howl, well, Valve asked the CSGO developers to personally redesign it. They could have just made the gun untradeable, but instead they gave it a brand new rarity of its own, Contraband. It's one of the only items in the game with this rarity, and it's one of the most sought after skins, with factory new additions being sold between $13,000 and $46,000. But this next skin was banned for offending a monarchy. In Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the developers released a DLC pack full of new outfits. You were able to wear crazy costumes with people like Magneto, but one of these was the House of M design. While it may have been based on the comics, this costume had a striking resemblance to the King of Spain. Yeah, the Spanish monarchy went straight to Marvel and demanded an apology for the character. It was settled until years later when Capcom added Magneto's costume to this game and the royal family was not happy about it. They threatened to sue the publishers and even got the costume removed from the DLC pack, so I guess Spain really doesn't want people dressing like the king. But other countries also have some insane laws. China is well known for finding skeletons and skulls offensive, and this caused a lot of problems for gaming. To get around the rule, Fortnite had to make an entirely separate game for China, which swapped out all skulls for redesigned masks, made them invisible, or turned them into a ball? As for other skins like Skull Trooper, well, they were just straight up banned from the game, so it's pretty funny that one of Fortnite's most iconic skins is banned from an entire country. Although I don't think we've seen an outfit that was banned for being ugly before, and League of Legends came under fire in 2017 when it announced the Sewn Chaos versions of Blitzcrank and Amumu. It looked interesting to say the least, but fans were not happy about it. They thought the skins had ugly colors, cheap textures, and were just a lazy redesign. So, seeing the negative Activity, Riot decided to completely scrap the outfits. According to their announcement, it didn't hit the quality expected and they were making the call to remove them. And let's flip this on its head because Rainbow Six Siege banned an outfit for being too good. A variety of Special Forces camo skins were released and had a little too much camouflage than intended. Rainbow Six is a super competitive game and considering Ember Rise was practically pay to win, fans were not happy about it. Even the best players in the world struggled to see through the camouflage. I think the worst part is teams like G2 even gave their players money to buy the skins. It was ridiculous. So, in an effort to keep the game fair, Ubisoft banned the Ember Rise outfits from all competitive matches. One of the absolute funniest bans belongs to PUBG's Leo skin. The set offers a lion headpiece, but the real issue lies with his jumpsuit. Looks completely fine in the lobby, but once players load it into a match, they discover a secret that doomed the skin forever. Turns out that skydiving would make your lion tail look like this. I mean, did nobody test this before releasing it? Obviously, everyone thought this was hilarious, but PUBG rushed to disabled the skin and fixed the bug. They offered refunds to anyone who bought it, but at least they had a sense of humor because in the patch notes, it said they fixed an issue where male characters would show two tails when parachuting. And if you thought that was distracting, wait until you see Gil's Pyron outfit. Once again, we have a Street Fighter costume that was banned from a tournament and there seems to be a pattern here, but it turns out this outfit was banned for being distracting in an entirely different way. In Capcom's Pro Tour event, players complained about how the skin was completely on fire along with other warping effects. This made it difficult to focus on Gil's moves 
and how to counter his attacks. And on top of all this, some characters have the ability to set you on fire, meaning it was practically impossible to tell the difference. So this caused the costume to end up being banned from all tournaments. In Dead or Alive 5 last round, the community thought that the game's outfits were a little too revealing. They were worried that they were deterring companies and players from hosting tournaments or taking the game seriously. And their solution was to remove 120 different outfits from a selection of only 18 characters. The creators actually saw this and responded. While they didn't remove them all, they banned dozens of skins from tournaments and some were just straight up deleted entirely. Another outfit that might never return is Will Smith. He was added to Fortnite as Detective Mike Lowry from the Bad Boys movies. It was a hugely popular skin, especially since he even got his likeness in the game. But since the infamous slap at the Oscars, this cosmetic hasn't returned to the shop and left the community wondering, would they ever see it again? The same can be said for Travis Scott, who hosted his own concert back in 2020, and many fans have been begging for his skin to go back on sale. After years, there's no sign of him, and the Astroworld disaster sealed the deal once and for all. When it comes to crossover characters, it could get a little complicated, and Mortal Kombat 9's partnership with PlayStation was banned from tournaments for one simple reason. Kratos was added as a playable fighter in the game, and people were really excited about this. He was also designed to be stronger than other characters, but there was one problem. You could only play as Kratos on PlayStation. As a result, it was a super unfair advantage, and the God of War level, as well as Kratos himself, were completely blacklisted from competitive tournaments. And while everyone was trying to get their hands on him, there was a Smite skin that was banned for simply being annoying. Soul is a mage-like character in the game who has an alternate sweet tooth outfit, and the option completely changes her costume, effects, animations, and worst of all, the audio. Players who went up against her would be battling against a wave of extreme bubbles and sounds on top of her very loud character. What do you call a train that eats gum? A choo-choo train? <laughs> Get it? I turned it down for you because trust me, it's just way too loud. From audio to visual, it turns out that Fortnite just can't stop banning skins. When you have so many characters in one game, you're bound to have problems, and the superhero outfits did just that. Once players got hold of the set, they couldn't help but try to exploit its customization options. Taking all white or black outfits to the max and turning them almost invisible in some areas, this little trick allowed thousands of players to abuse one of the most pay-to-win skins in the game. Now, of course, it wasn't intentional, so Epic banned this combination of colors, but it still doesn't stop people from trying to use them to this day. And this League of Legends character was banned for being so boring that it actually broke the game? Yeah, Lux's moves in League of Legends all looked so similar that it effectively made her one of the most overpowered characters. Pros complained that they couldn't tell the difference between her attacks and it was impossible to fight against her. So Riot heard the backlash and blacklisted Lux from any tournaments as a result. That is not the only thing that was hard to see because the agent skins in CSGO sparked a ton of anger in the community. Well, being able to dress as the FBI or a camo soldier sounds cool on paper. It turns out they're a little too good at blending in. I saw a screenshot and I was like, there's no way. It took me like five seconds to spot the guy. There's literally no one here. Well, yes, there is. He looks like a flower pot. <laughs> His kids became a meme for most of the community, mainly because the enemy looked like a wall or a plant. But it wasn't even a week before ESEA, ESL, and any other competitive tournament banned the skins and then CSGO provided a fix, making them a lot more visible. Sadly, you can't become a bush in Counter-Strike anymore. And those are all the skins banned in video games. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on T5G.